All right, guys. I think now I can say Merry Christmas, right? Officially or not? I don't know. Anyway, happy holidays. That includes, uh, this is going to be showing right before Black Friday. It's going to be the Tuesday before Black Friday so that when you see something you like on this list, that you can pick it up on Black Friday. I thought about releasing it on Black Friday, but I thought, you know what? Everybody can be in line. They're going to be up five in the morning. The last thing they're going to watch is this show. So we're going to show it on Tuesday so that on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, you can pick it up. All right? We love you guys. Get ready for the top 10 most valuable things in my kitchen. Okay, so this is the Hamilton Beach can opener. And the beauty about this is this opens the cans along the side. It doesn't open, doesn't cut on the top like the old days, but it cuts on the side and doesn't leave you with a sharp edge. Uh, you guys remember this tool here, right? How it latches onto your can and it cuts along the side. Remember this one? This was bat 19 years ago. I showed you this one. This is like a seven in one. It does like seven different things. Well, anyway, this is the electric version and Hamilton Beach brought one out. And the great thing is I can get my hand on this and I can push down and get the can under and then I can let up again and I can lift up. So it's easy to use even with my hurt hand. I'm able to use the Hamilton Beach can opener. It cuts along the side, it cuts perfectly. A lot of your pop tops, I cut anyway. I'll put in here and I'll cut along the side. So I don't know if you remember this, I showed this. Surprisingly, I use this a lot. You know how many times I use tomato sauce and chipotle peppers in adobo sauce? I'm opening can after can after can on every episode, but you never see it. So I wanna show this off because I use this. Any episode I have a can of food, I'm using this, all right? Hamilton Beach, great job. This thing is, is bullets. This thing is gonna be lasting me for years. Okay, here's the Thermapro TP19. And a lot of you remember when this first came out, I thought it was a Thermapen. Thermapen is a completely different company. This is the Thermapen right here. I've already shown you. And then here's the Thermapro. This one here is built really, really well. This is like the Cadillac of thermometers. And if you got the money, put the money out. This is $99. Uh, I'll put a link down below to both of these, but this one right here is, is my go-to. Uh, it gives me to a tenth of a degree. It does just what this one does. It's still working, keeps on ticking. It's got the one battery that I can swap out. I don't know if I can change the battery on this. I don't think I can. Um, can I open this? I think I can. There's a screw at the bottom. I might be able to change the battery on this one. I haven't had to yet. So this battery, oh yeah, what does it say? Do, 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 do. A little better symbol. Yep. Yes, you can change the battery on this one. But if you got the money, put out the $99 for this one. This is a $100 device. But if you don't have the money and you just want to take the temperature within three seconds, go with the Thermapro TP, is it TP19? Yep, TP19, all right? And there'll be a link for each one of these down below so that you can grab one for the holidays. I use, I use these all the time. I check chicken in the oven just to make sure it's completely cooked. And I check food on the smoker to make sure we've reached temperature to verify that the Bluetooth thermometer I'm using is correct. So I'll bring this out with me. So I use it in the kitchen. I use it outside on the barbecue. All right, so this is an electric kettle. If you've never used an electric kettle and you drink coffee, you drink tea, this is great for pouring over coffee grounds. This is great for making cup of noodles. This is great for any time you need hot water fast and you wanna go hotter than what your tap water does. This goes up to 212 degrees. Uh, some people like their coffee that hot, I don't. I do 199, but this goes up to 212 and it's by Dr. Hetzner, yep. And it sits on this device and that's what heats it. And it'll, you have a button here that will hold the temperature right where you want it. So when you put it back, you press that button to get it back up to temperature. Now here is the, the most important part. This goose, goose excuse me, <laughs> this gooseneck design right here is important. So this gives you total control when you're pouring. I, I must insist that you get a gooseneck design. I had the other one with a spout right here, didn't work. 
So I went with the gooseneck. I had total control. wasn't pouring where I shouldn't. It didn't dribble down the side or anything. This heats up fast. So an electric kettle is the way to go. You ever buy something and it was just, just for the use and then you realized how great the design was? Okay, so I bought this cheese grater because I put my hand on it. And I can grate cheese, no problem. Hold it still. But when I'm done, the cheese collects in this little drawer. And what you do is you lay it down and you pop the drawer out. Look at that. And all your cheese is right in here. You can transport it wherever you want. And then that's the fine side. And that's the regular side. Whichever side you want, make sure that the opening of the drawer faces the side you want. So you put it in. Put it back up. Start grating again if you want. And uh, if you need the fine side, there's a fine side too. And then you lay it on its side and you pop the drawer out. Look at that. Is that a great design? The drawer has measurements too. So while you're grating, if you only need like a cup of cheese, then you can go to the cup mark. But there's marks on the side. This is made by a company called Progressive. I don't know if I can find it anymore, but if I can, I'll put a link down below. And I have found this design to be amazing. It was just an accident. I needed a cheese grater. Boom, I bought this. And then this has been so helpful. Okay, let me talk about gloves. I have gloves that go up to 1700 degrees. These are the gloves I use all the time. They go up to 450 because I never cook above 450 unless I'm cleaning the oven at 500. But this is, these gloves are safe up to 450. What do I love about, this is by, uh, I think it's SBDW. I'll put the link down below, but these are great. They're silicone, but they have cloth inside. So they're comfortable, easy to get your hands in and out. They slide. I mean, look, I can do it without two hands. I can put my, my hand in there. Boom, I'm in. I got the separate fingers, easy to grab with. I love these gloves. They're easy to clean. I clean them all the time. You see them on the set. I use them all the time to get things in and out, off the smoker. You can literally grab the meat and lift it out so it's not falling apart. You can get underneath it. So these gloves are really cool. You don't need... 17 10,000 degrees or whatever uh your other gloves do these are just as good and i think they if you buy these it comes with a barbecue brush i have to double check but there'll be a link down below these are really really cool and they're my go-to i use them all the time i even use them as a hot plate because i only got one hand working so i'll use the other one and i'll set my hot plate my pan or my saucepan or whatever my cookie sheet I'll put it right on top of here because it won't burn the this board. So, and then I'll use this one on my hand. So it's all good. I love them. They clean up great. You should check them out. I'll have a link down below. And I believe a brush comes with these, a silicone brush for basting your meat. Okay. So these are go-to, definite. Okay, you're gonna laugh at me. This is a this is used more than you would ever imagine this long spatula it's just a generic you can buy this for a couple bucks it's just a generic long spatula i use all the time what do i use it mostly for to get pulled pork off the smoker get underneath it and lift it up and it is amazing but this long spatula it helps just normal cooking too but when you're trying to get a big piece of meat whether it's a brisket or a pulled pork or something off the grill this works bullets this is really good i also use it for scraping my pans get them clean you know as i'm trying to get the food unstuck you know because i got the stainless steel now so i use this to initially scrape the big chunks and these clean up great this thing gets used all the time it is a long spatula trust me you may not realize how important it is until you have one all right there you go all right, as you know, this show has been a big fan of Rachel Ray's stuff for quite a while. The oil pour, the utensils like this one, um, the uh, pots and pans. Before I went away from nonstick, she also has the anodized aluminum, I think, which isn't a nonstick. You could check those out. I really like everything she does. Why? It's all design. Look at this. This is really cool. This is a spoon. All of her utensils have this little cutout right there that you can clip on the edge. And I just, I just love it. 
So this is very helpful. Uh, when you stir, then just clip it on the edge. It doesn't burn. It's silicone, so it doesn't. And it clips right there. And all of her utensils, the whole set, have these cutouts. She now has this. Let me go grab it. I really shouldn't be showing you this because I was only showing you 10 items. But this is, I believe, part of the set. This is now like a, a ladle. I, I didn't, when she first came out with these utensils with the little cutouts, I did not have a ladle. So I found the ladle and I bought the ladle and this thing I use all the time. I use this for the mac and cheese video. I use this all the time to scoop out soups and stews and chilies. All right, so the Rachel Ray utensils are really to die for. So check them out. Okay, this is the craziest device on my entire list. This I never thought would be on a top 10 list. This is a device that I never, I, I probably predicted when I, when I got this device and reviewed it on the show, um, it, this is an avocado tool. So when I reviewed this, I figured I'm going to use this once a year. You would be surprised. I use avocado on salads. Uh, we make guacamole all the time. We use this, this is an avocado tool. See this part right here? This part right here. Cut your avocado in half. You can just, it slices right into it and you can't get hurt. Look, you can't cut yourself. Your kids are completely safe by it. But look at this part right here. This gets the pit out. All you do is put it right on the pit and twist. And that pit removal is to die for. It comes out really easy. You don't have to stab it with a knife or a fork or anything or try and pop it out with a spoon. And then once you've cl cleared the avocado and you got just the meat, in the shell, you drag this through it and you drag through and it not only does it pull all the meat out of the avocado, but it also slices it. And there it is. And this avocado tool has been used at least a hundred times, I would say, since I bought it, which has been probably what, two years ago maybe. So it get used it gets used more than I ever predicted. It's the avocado tool. Gotta to get one of those. This is the Heritage Steel Cookware. And what do I love about this? Well, I learned after I got this set, I didn't even know this, but this set, all of their cookware is seven layers of all clad pressed together. And I don't mean just pressed together. I want to show you this real quick. See this here, the side, a lot of your all clads only have like one layer on the side. They have seven layers all the way up to the top. So when the heat is conducted and it's traveling through, it, it gets transferred all the way up to the top and it's completely built 100% seven layers, not just the bottom. I didn't know that. There are seven layers, comes up the side, up the side of this pan, real good quality. And I've never heard of another seven layer. I think um, uh, All Clad Company or whatever has only three layers or five layers or something like that. This is Heritage Steel Cookware, has seven layers, and it's made in Tennessee. Yeah, go for that. So it's American-made, support American, of course, but it's seven layers. You can't get, I don't think there's anything better than that. So check it out for yourself. Fall in love with it like I have, and I even have an episode on how to clean this stuff. So check that video out, too. I'll have a link down below, Heritage Steel Cookware. Okay guys, this is my baby. This is the number one most used thing in my kitchen. You'd be surprised how often I use the Ninja Foodie. It's an air fryer and a pressure cooker. Right now it's an air fryer. This lid here takes heat and there's a big fan inside. But when you want to pressure cook, you open the, open the lid and put on the pressure cooker lid. That is backwards. Oh, sorry about that. There you go. Now it's a pressure cooker. It's like a two in one. If you're an instant pot fan, this is the one to go with. Get rid of your instant pot, get rid of your air fryer, which is probably too small anyway. This is the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. I got it, I think uh, I got a few of them for Christmas and as gifts from Kohl's. Got the little discount, 20%. I went and bought the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Why the Deluxe? Because I'm a leftover guy. This is the eight quart version. So I wanted the bigger version. I had to go, oh yeah, this one right here, I had to go to their website at first. Now it's a Kohl's. 
but I had to go directly to their website to get the bigger version. Sold out last Christmas. Get it this Christmas. It's a two-in-one. Why wouldn't you do that? Why do you want two devices when this will do both? This air fries and it pressure cooks, slow cooks, rice cooks, yogurt maker. I do so many things I can't even remember them all. So check out my video on this. I have a review on this, but this is what I used to make the mashed potatoes to, I mean, I use this all the time. I, all my chilies are made in here. This is, let me give you an idea. Slow cooker takes four hours minimum four hours on high, eight hours on low. This right here takes 20 minutes. I've done a test where I've taken the pressure cooker next to the slow cooker and cooked turkey necks and they came out identical. So how about we cook within 20 minutes? You could roast a small turkey in here. Uh, you can use this for side dishes. This is a great device. I'm madly in love with this device. Can you tell? All right, so check it out. The Ninja Foodie Deluxe. So that's it. There you go. It is my top 10 most used items in this kitchen for the show, for my personal life. I love all, all the items I showed you so far. I'm completely happy with. I totally support. All right. You guys do me a favor. Be safe on Black Friday. Remember, it's, it's not about presents. All right. But take care of the ones you love. Bye for the foodie in your life. And I will see you on the next episode. I love you. Bye-bye.